Hi everybody, welcome to the Makeup Chair. So today I'm doing a review on Makeup Keek products because I have been using a lot of their stuff recently in a few of my tutorials and so many of you have been saying, can you do a review on it? So here is my review on these products. I'm so excited to do this one because I'm a huge fan of Makeup Geek. I watch the videos all the time. I think what Marlena has done is just amazing. I think she's done such an awesome job. She's so professional in her videos and she's just created this whole line and I think it's amazing and I definitely feel like it's such an inspiration for anybody who makes YouTube videos to just look at her and go, wow, see how far she can go with this. So amazing. Keep up the good work. Absolutely love your videos if you're watching. Let's first of all talk about packaging. So this is what it looks like up close. These are actually like the refill eyeshadow kind of um, packaging, storage packaging for when it's being sent. So it's just in this kind of cardboard little box, very very thin box like this. But what I like about this is that it has a window here so you can actually see the colour. So if you have them kind of stacked up and you can actually see what colour it is. And then if you flip it over there has another window that actually doesn't have a piece of plastic over it that you can see the name of it. So this is Poolside which is actually one of my favourite shades so that's why I decided to show it. But what I love is that you can open it up like this and you have the eyeshadow and I'll just show you guys real quick what it looks like inside. So the eyeshadow is right in there and it just pops into this other plastic bit and what I like to do is I like to flip it around and then I will pop it back in. So this way you have the little window with the name and on this side you can actually use the eyeshadow. So that's what I tend to do. I tend to have these in their little containers. Some of them are in the palettes, some of them in the containers and that way I can just use it pop it on my eye. When I'm finished, all I have to do is take it out, flip it, put it back in, and that's great if you don't have palettes, or maybe you just bought a handful of them, or maybe your palettes are full, but you still want to use them, but you don't want to have all the little ones like on your table or anything because you're worried about them, you know, breaking or falling or anything. So I just thought there'd be like a little handy tip for you guys to do that you can flip it around and use it. As far as the actual pigment goes, these are crazy pigmented. They're absolutely beautiful. They feel really silky and very smooth. They blend really well in the eyes, and I haven't had any problem with creasing. I haven't had too much fallout with it because the pigments just seem to really stick onto the brush, and then you just apply it and it just stays where it's supposed to. And I have so many of their eyeshadows on today, I can't even tell you which ones I use because I just use so many varieties of them. Absolutely. I'm in love with the texture of these. I think they're so like high quality. I think that it's just been an amazing job. They've really done an excellent job in putting these together. As far as the shades go, there's tons of different shades on there. I'll show you just a handful of them. I actually have them in these palettes here because I think that these are really handy to have. You can also put them in Z palettes and these are the same size as MAC as well. So some of these are like a mixture of eyeshadows in here. Some of them are um, the ones by Makeup Geek and some of them are some other types. So let's start off with my kind of neutral one here. So here I have Shimmer Shimmer which I absolutely love. It's one of my favourite shades that they have out. And I'll just show you what that looks like up close. But I will have swatches and everything up on my blog for you guys to have a look at. But isn't it just a beautiful colour? So that's Shimmer Shimmer. And you have to say it like that because that's how you're saying Another one of my favourites is this one, which is called purely naked and it's a, just a neutral nude colour. You can wash this all over the lid if you just want to put it down as a base or you can work it right into that crease, you know how I like crease colours, right into that crease just to blend out your eyeshadows for whatever look that you're doing. This is going to be really handy for you. Another one of my favourites is Mocha and this is actually the one that I have on my eyebrows today because as you can see it's very close to my actual hair colour. So I use just a touch of Mocha on my brows today. It's a little bit warm but I actually quite like warm brows. I don't know. I'm weird like that. And then there's this other colour here, which is actually my ultimate, ooh, ultimate favourite one. And this is called Corrupt. And it is a beautiful, amazing, awesome black. You can use this as your eyeliner because it is so packed with pigments. It's very different texture to the other one because it's quite a a denser texture to it so you can use it as an eyeliner. You just pop it onto your eyeliner brush and it stays where it's supposed to stay. It's quite a dry consistency as well so it definitely keeps in place. I'm also a massive massive fan of this one and this is actually featured in Malena's top 10 as well. This is called Glamorous and it's a gorgeous golden brown 
um, golden shade more than a brown shade, but it's just a beautiful gold shade. I love it. I think it's perfect for summertime, wintertime. It's just one of those colors that you just wash over the lid and you instantly have a glamorous look. Like put this with a smoky eye, put it with a neutral eye, and it just works with everything. Then I have some colors in here. So let's see, we have this beautiful one here, and this is called um, Razzleberry. So it's kind of like a a raspberry shade, but I love all their names. I think they've given fantastic names to our eyeshadow. I have to show you this one, and I'm not going to tell you the name until I show it up close to the camera. So have a look at this color, and when I tell you the name, you're just going to go BAM. That is the perfect name for this eyeshadow. So just look at it and think about it. What does it remind you of? And listen to the name. Unicorn. Yes, because this is so like you know those little ponies that you play with when you're a kid? That is what it reminded me of. I instantly went, oh, like, it was like a little, you know, the ponies. And, and then I was like, oh my god, it's called Unicorn. And I am pretty sure, honestly, I'm pretty sure that I had a unicorn. If I could find a picture, I would. I have a unicorn when I was a kid that was this colour. And it had, like, this colour mane and everything. So, awesome job. I hope maybe that was deliberate. <laughs> that someone else had the same one as me, I don't know. So those are my favourite shades from this and I also have these two here that I'm a big fan of. This is called Unexpected and I actually love this colour because once again it has a fantastic name because you think it's going to be quite bland but when you put it on the eye it just looks, it looks really pretty. It just looks a really pretty colour. So I think that's why it's called Unexpected but I'm not totally sure. And I like pairing that unexpected one with um, Purple Rain. And I actually did a makeup tutorial, I'm pretty sure, using those two shades because I think that they're beautiful. I have my grey and green tone ones, so I have them all in different palettes, but this green one. So this is the one that I actually have right in here today. So you can kind of see that's the one that I have on the outer half. I Beautiful. Oh, I love this colour. This is called Moon Dust, and it's sort of like a bronzy green. And I just think it goes with like everything, like if you want to do like a really, really bronzy look, I think this is going to look beautiful with it because it has that hint of green in it. Or if you want to go for something golden, I think it goes with gold as well and it goes with silver. It just, it's one of those colours that just works with everything. And then we have this gorgeous colour and on camera this looks a little bit more grey than it is but it has a sort of a bluey, grey, green colour mixed into it and it's very, very dark. This would be the perfect smoky eye. You just pop this all over the lid, add a highlight, add maybe like a little bit of that brown mocha shade or purely naked in the crease just to blend it out and just to give you kind of like a haloed effect and it is just gorgeous. I actually have, I think I had a touch of this just on that outer half, just a very small amount. Well, I am a massive fan of Makeup Geek and I am now a massive fan of Makeup Geek products because I think these are amazing. I think they've done an awesome job, not only in the packaging and the colours that they've picked, but even down to just the names that they've picked, I think they've done an excellent job. So thumbs up if you like these and if you'd like to see more reviews on them or you'd like me to show you guys more looks using it, then I definitely will. I will put in the down bar all the looks that I've done so far using them so you can see them in use and a link to my blog where you can have a look at the colours being squatched. Squatched? Swatched. And I'll talk to you soon. I'm Shane Katie and thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.